Doris Lessing, the Nobel Prize winning writer, has died aged 94 at her home in London. Her first novel, The Grass is Singing, was published in 1950. Since when, she has produced dozens of works across literary genres, two operas, plays and lots of non-fiction. Her publishers described her as a compelling storyteller with a fierce intellect and a warm heart who wasn't afraid to fight for what she believed in. Fasma Manji reports. How do you react to winning a Nobel Prize? <laughs> Doris Lessing was known for her no-nonsense approach, and this occasion was to be no exception. I've won all the prizes in Europe, every bloody one, so I'm delighted to win them all. It's a sort of a whole, a whole lot, OK? It's a, it's a royal flush. And even as she held court for the cameras, she remained ever so slightly underwhelmed. Am I supposed to get elated or excited or what? Lessing was born in Iran in 1919, but grew up in colonial southern Rhodesia. It was an experience that would later influence many of her works, including her first novel, The Grass is Singing, about a white farmer's wife having an affair with an African servant. She would go on to write 54 other works. But it was only at the age of 87 that she was awarded the world's premier literature prize. There isn't anywhere to go from here, is there? Unless, like some exemplars, recent ones, I could get a pat on the head from the Pope. Her most celebrated work was The Golden Notebook, the way in which the novel's character explored female sexuality, friendship and politics, led to Lessing being acclaimed as a feminist pioneer by generations of women. But it was a title she herself rejected. In my time, I have been called, from when I started, the writer, the black writer, black, the communist writer, the, um, I've forgotten what, yes, the mystical writer, the feminist writer, the other. What? It all means nothing. I'm always the same writer. Her work was constantly challenging, her public personality unafraid of controversy. Many Americans were angry when she said the 9-11 attack wasn't as terrible as the IRA bombings in the UK. The friend who curated an exhibition of her letters says she was a rebel, and yet in private, she was also generous and fiercely loyal. She never wrote the same book twice and switched her interests throughout her life. And that's, I think, what kept her going. She said if she wasn't writing, she could feel wolves snapping at her heels. And if she stopped, the wolves would get her. She once wrote, laughter is by definition healthy. And she certainly took her own advice. I um, once uh, won a prize which consisted of being called the, um, the best milkmaid in Norway, which, um, <laughs> so which was really happen? one of the most charming prizes I've ever won. <laughs> Today, a friend of Doris Lessing said it feels like a major figure has left the stage.